Leia here from LeiaFirstSci.com, and in this video, I'll give you a detailed breakdown for the mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution, and I'll also show you how to draw the resonance for the sigma complex intermediate. As I mentioned in the introductory video, electrophilic aromatic substitution requires a super electrophile, and subsequent videos will show you how to create each one for specific reactions. But to show you the general mechanism, we'll use E plus to represent that super electrophile, and I want you to recognize that even though the electrophile changes, the mechanism is the same from reaction to reaction. Each pi electron is shown in a unique color because I want you to pay close attention to their movement throughout this reaction. The mechanism begins when one of the pi bonds breaks out of that stable aromaticity, reaches for the electrophile, and creates a new bond. Since there are no other substituents on the ring, I can choose to place the electrophile at the top or the bottom where that green pi bond broke, and I'll just put it at the top. The other carbon that used to hold the pi bond is now deficient and is going to have a positive charge. So far, the blue and the purple pi bond haven't moved, so we'll show them where they were. This intermediate, while it still has resonance, is no longer aromatic for two reasons. Reason number one, we no longer have resonance going in a complete circle. And reason number two, don't forget we had that hydrogen sitting over here, which means the carbon where the electrophile added now has two bonds to carbon, one to the electrophile, one to hydrogen. It's sp3 hybridized and no longer planar. In order for this molecule to be stable again, we have to find a way to remove that hydrogen and reform the aromaticity. The good news is, because benzene is so desperate to reform that aromaticity, we can bring a weak base to grab that hydrogen, but only the nucleus. When the hydrogen is grabbed, the electrons that bind it to carbon will collapse back into the ring in the direction of that positive charge. The red pair of electrons that used to bind hydrogen now sit as a pi bond in the ring and the aromaticity is reformed. This non-aromatic, resonance-capable intermediate is called the sigma complex, and your professors will require you to know and be able to draw the resonance, so let's take a look at that. Don't forget we do have invisible hydrogens. I'm skipping them because this is easier to draw. When you're working on resonance, you always want to find something that is very negative, for example, a lone pair or a pi bond, and you want to move it towards something that is positive. In this case, the carbocation is going to draw the resonance. And so the structure right here is considered the first resonance. And then we show the pi bond directly near that carbocation, taking its electrons and attacking the positive carbon. Draw a double-headed arrow to imply that it's a resonance structure. And now let's fill in the electrons. The blue pi bond hasn't moved. The purple pi bond is now sitting where that carbocation used to be. The other carbon that used to hold the pi bond is now deficient and gets the positive charge. Now we have two options. Option one is to take that purple pi bond and resonate it back towards the carbocation. And while this does happen, we're not going to show it because it's the structure that we just saw. That's why we have that double-headed arrow to show that it can reverse. Instead, let's look at the next structure. The blue pi electrons will reach over and attack that positive carbon, shifting the pi bond down in the ring. Once again, we have a double-headed arrow to show that it's resonance. The reason I curved this arrow downward is because I don't want to crowd my page. As long as you have an arrowhead on either side, it doesn't matter what direction they take. The purple pi bond hasn't moved. The blue pi electrons shifted down towards the left. And the topmost carbon is now deficient and has that carbocation. These are the three resonance structures for the sigma complex, or EAS intermediate. And to show that the resonance, we have to put the entire thing into brackets. And now that you know the mechanism and how to draw the resonance, join me in the next few videos where we go through the detailed mechanisms for aromatic halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, Friedel-Crafts alkylation, and Friedel-Crafts acylation. You can find this entire video series on my website at layofersci.com slash EAS. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. 
After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.